happy Wednesday. I hope wherever you are that you and your loved ones are safe and well, that you're having a good week and a good day. I hope if you are in the path of the Canadian wildfire smoke that you are all right. Um, it's, you know, all the way down here in New York City, it's hazy. And um, I know throughout the tri-state area, um, you know, my family throughout the area has been comparing, you know, photos and everything. And it's, it's shocking. It smells like a campfire or um, like a candle factory exploded. That's what it smells like. Um, but I hope you're all okay. And like we have our air filters going right now. And I, and I have my inhaler handy um, in case I need it, which I have not, thank God. And when we went out, we wore masks. And so we're just trying to be careful. Um, but what's happening? I'm a little more unpacked. I'm standing, sitting in the kitchen, obviously, and a little bit more unpacked than I was last week. Not a lot more, but some. Um, when we started to get organized for the move, my husband, uh, we had a, a mutual, like a, not a mutual document, a, um, we all collaborated on a document, labeling boxes, what was in the boxes, and, um, and that has helped tremendously because otherwise it would be a mess trying to figure out what's where. Um, and so, it's, I can't believe I did this, but I, I had, um, I mean, I found some of it, but I had a lot of post-it pads because I love my post-it pads and my little notes that I leave out for my family and my markers and stuff, and none of it is together. And so I found the markers, but I didn't find my post-it pads. And so that's really annoying because I have no idea where I put them. And so it's things like that, like little things that you use every day and you don't have access to. So it's kind of like, and I was trying to do my medication trays last night and I realized that they were um, all mixed up and I didn't have four of them. And I was like, oh great. And my, you know, I didn't want to like make a big deal out of it, but I'm like, I'm missing four of trays. And then I realized it was in a different box. And so that's, you know, it's not a giant problem, but it is like an organizational thing. Like what the heck was I doing when I packed? Because I can't find some little things. Um, but we'll get there. You know, we were looking around the living room last night and <laughs> it's just a disaster. But, you know, we'll get there one box at a time. And we've made huge progress. We had a lot. I would say we, we emptied probably 30 boxes, 40 boxes maybe. And we have a lot more. I mean, that's not even a joke. Um, but we were able to donate them to another family that's moving. Um, my husband belongs to a group online and this person posted that they were moving. Did anybody have moving, like wrapping paper to wrap fragile things in? And we had a ton of it. And so I reached out and I said, you know, my husband saw your message. We have boxes and bubble wrap and things like that. And they took all of it because they're moving either at the end of the week or next week, uh, like a really fast move. So it was nice to be able to give them that stuff because moving is expensive. Supplies are very expensive and you never have enough. You think you do and you don't. And, uh, so it was nice to be able to pass it along to somebody else who needed it um, rather than just recycling it because that's kind of wasteful. But um, when I'm sitting here and I'm looking at three huge boxes under the kitchen table. There's more in the hallway. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying not to get overwhelmed. And I think that's why I'm not really sleeping right now. I'm sorry, Justine. Um, I am barely sleeping at the moment. I'm just uncomfortable and trying to get, you know, I think I'm just stressed about all of this um, but you know my mom took a bunch of um, really fragile things that we until we shift everything around and get all rid of all the boxes we can't really put them away um, like our wedding china and a beautiful set of Christmas plates and things that my mom gave me and my husband and my daughter over the years and um, you know and things like that and a lot of sewing materials which I am horrified. If you're a crafter, you don't realize how much stuff you have until you have to move it all. And then you're like, I had this much fabric. Um, and I had a lot of yarn, but I was able to donate that. And um, I gave some to my nieces and uh, kept a little bit for myself. But over the years, like 26 years of living in a space, you know, people gave it to me and, or like fabric that people gave me. Um, years and years ago, we knew um, this, Longtime family friend, um, the patriarch of the family, um, had died, and they had a lot of fabric from his business. And so my friend and I went over, and she just gave us a ton of fabric and buttons and pins and materials, and I just had it all stored away. So when we're moving, I'm like, where the heck did this come from? I didn't buy it. And then I realized, oh my gosh, that's all the fabric and stuff that he gave us. 
Um, and so things like that in, you know, the storage bins and stuff like that that I, I hadn't thought about. I just had it and pulled like scraps and stuff out for projects, but I never really used all of it. And so I want to go through that because I do think I can donate some of that um, at some point. But right now I'm just, I'm just trying to get our book coats and books and shoes and things and, every, and all that sort of, cause that's like good grief. It's, it's a lot, um, you know, and we'll get there. I'm not going to stress about it. I know I am stressed about it, but I am not going to get like, I'm trying not to get too overwhelmed with it because it's, it's a lot. And physically I'm trying to do what I can. And it's a lot for me to, you know, I haven't really stopped, um, a lot. And the good thing is I've been offline for a, a lot of the time. I'm not, I haven't been online hardly at all. Um, which is a good thing. Um, but I'm just trying not to overdo it. Um, and today I went down to my old neighborhood and picked up um, some additional costume materials for a show that I'm working on next week or two weeks from now um, with my friend and mentor. Um, and I think I have everything I need for that. I think we shall see. Um, but that's exciting. It's nice to be doing something, but I have to make sure I found, well, before I, before we moved, I packed up my sewing materials and put my, like what I call my work bag. Um, when I'm working on the dance company stuff, I put a sewing kit in that box, in that big bag. And so I think I have everything I need. If not, I'm going to have to go through all of my sewing boxes to make sure that I have my stuff, but I'm pretty sure I have it all. I wish I could knock on wood, but there's no wood near me. Um, so yeah, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But I just feel kind of disorganized and, you know, a little bit like run over, but we'll get there. You know, my husband, my daughter and I are just like, we'll get there, you know, and we like where we are. We're very happy here. It's a beautiful place and it's really nice and the people are really nice. Um, and we'll get there. You know, it is what it is. And you, know, you can't, you know, my daughter, when we were going through all the old stuff, she found if you have, if you know, years ago, there was a show called the Wizards of Waverly Place. And so she had this toy magic wand. And so we were joking around the other night at the old apartment, like, why doesn't the wand work? Because wouldn't that be great if we could just magic wand everything over where it needs to be and unpack and all that. Um, I would give anything for a magic wand right about now, but <laughs> what can you do? Um, and I just realized every time I raise my arm, I, my bruises are, I am so banged up right now. It's not even funny. I have like 18 bruises on my body. And I know it's from like banging into furniture and boxes and carrying things and not clearing a door. And so you, you know, you hit the door and then you get all banged up. I don't know how I got that bruise. That is horrible. Um, and I kind of look like I did when I was on blood thinners, but I'm not, I'm only on aspirin. So that's fun. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it. You know, we're in a good spot and it, it, it'll all get sorted, you know, one box at a time, it'll all get sorted. And I can't do more than I can do, you know, we're doing what we can, so a little at a time. But anyway, I hope wherever you are that you have a low pain, no pain, low aggravation, no aggravation, kind of a day, kind of a week, and kind of a weekend to come. That's what we hope for, that's what we deserve, that is what I truly wish for each and every one of you. Hope you're all safe and well, take care of yourselves, and I will see you on Friday via the blog next week for everything. Have a good night. Bye.